from the kickoff in our main game of the day. A terrific atmosphere, 6,000 fans here. With the two captains, Steve Dorsey and David Brightwell, the referee, George Kane, to decide which way the teams are play. There we go. That's our main game at Grandford Park, Scunthorpe United against Hull City. I'm off to the commentary box. Yes, there he goes, John Helm rolling back the years. And uh, here are the teams. Scunthorpe were unchanged from the side that put six past Mansfield last week. Cameroon striker Guy Ipua, five goals in the last two games, leads the line. Hull City make three changes for that embarrassing midweek defeat against non-league Kettering. The most notable, the return of Caribbean international strikers Theo Whitmore and Clint Marcel. Right, we're ready for kickoff. Scunthorpe are in the predominantly white shirt. Helen are amber and black. John's caught his breath. He's ready for the action. Well, it is called the Humberside Derby because the bridge separates the two towns. The city of Hull. Scunthorpe have been in great goal scoring form here at Glamford Park in recent weeks. But Brian Little has uh, built Old City around a solid defensive unit. Scunthorpe playing a 4 4 2 formation. Hull feature three centre backs. They have a striker here, a tiny one in Marcel, who is very nimble. Now it's Whitmore who shoots! And Theodore Whitmore is inches away from scoring the first of the day. That will lift whole spirits. It was Whitmore from Jamaica who whipped in that left-footed shot and that is missed by a fraction. There's a push on Ipua but Scumpop still have chances here and it's a header from Tolby! Flicked over the top by Muscle White. Both sides have had chances and this is from a long uh, cross in towards the tallest man in there, Steve Tolby. The header was going under the crossbar, Muscle White tipped it over. It comes to Whitmore, he's featuring very prominently at the moment, the Jamaican. Oh, and he's done well to turn it back in for Harper. Dawson has the time, however, to cushion ahead of back to his goalkeeper, Evans. And Hodges has brushed aside the challenge of Philpott to act as a springboard for a Scumport move here, which will surely go right. Just to Sheldon, who's got plenty of pace. He'll uh, knock the cross in here, Torpy with the header, a cross goal, Muscle White flicks it aside and uh, has done well because he's not even conceded a corner. Oh, that looked really promising for Scunthorpe. Just as this looks promising for Hull, it's Theodore Whitmore, he's one-on-one -on -one against Stanton. Thick for Whitmore still, which he caught this time. with Nathan Stanton and the whole fans thought that there was a foul. Scunthorpe United nil, Hull City nil. So no shortage of chances so far. Whoops! <laughs> Head first, good listen to the crowd. Somebody might need to prop him up. He's a huge figure. A lot of youngsters here today, how nice to see. Uh, some of them will have been playing this morning, no doubt, in their own little school matches. Marcel, able to take it away from Sheldon. He pulling out. Some of his goals in the last two weeks have been really spectacular. Oh, that's a shocking giveaway, straight to Hodges. There's only a trophy up in support. Hodges will go for goal himself. Oh, he's wrapped the upright. And Hull City can count themselves extremely fortunate not to be one down. Because he really thumped that shot in. Muscle White had no hope and it wrapped the upright. Came back. Taken down by Marcel Whitmore. Always looks dangerous when he does this. He's found Brown. One on one Brown. Good cross in. Whitmore's header. Saved by the keeper. Very well indeed. I thought that was going in. Looked a certain goal from the head of Theodore Whitmore, 
and Tom Evans has made the save of the match so far. Swings receives from Greaves. Now it's Whitmore into the area. Theodore Whitmore, Theodore Whitmore! And a fine point blank save by Evans to deny the Jamaican international today's first goal. Lovely ball slipped through to him though. And uh, Whitmore, who's on five goals for the season, crashed in the shot and Evans with a combination of arms and legs got down to prevent it finding the net. Oh, no. Garcia, touched on for Dawson. Can Scunthorpe make the break? Oh, that's lovely play. Great ball from Hodges. Dawson's cross ball. Torpy, oh, it's over the top. He's poor. He'd take it nine out of ten. Well, a very good break indeed from Scunthorpe United. Hodges' ball for Dawson was perfect. The cross looked as though it might be met by Torpy. And coming in behind him, Guy Pua, who really fancied him, but the ball zooms over the top. Brabin. Push wide for Whitmore. He'll take this again from Brabin. Now maybe a probing run. Brown to Marcel. Only Whitmore in the area though, so it's come back to Brown. Then Marcel's down, and there's a free kick given to Hull City on the edge of the area. Marcel has gone down uh, two or three yards inside the area. So what can Hull take from this free kick? Brightwell, who's left-footed, has gone over there. Harper's gone on his outside. Others in yellow in the penalty area. Brightwell thumps it through and thumps it straight into the Scunthorpe net. It may just be Hull City's day now. The perfect free kick from David Brightwell. He's blasted it in low with his left boot and the ball pitches past Tom Evans. It's Scunthorpe nil. Whole City won. Ryan Little uh, will be very happy with the events of this week. Uh, he was disappointed to go out of the FA Cup, but I think if you'd given him a choice of victories, it would have been this one. The league future of Hull, more important uh, than a cup run. Only a throw for Scunthorpe. Referee Kane looks again and says, play on. They've got to be quick now, Scunthorpe, if they're to get anything from this day. A oh, fine tackle. That means that Whitmore can advance the hole, but uh, he's played it away from there. It's all to his day. They've won it here at Glamford Park, thanks to David Brightwell's free kick. Scunthorpe, who've been so prolific in recent weeks, couldn't find the target today. So they've gone down. Hull City's points. Scunthorpe nil. Hull one. On the positive side, you've had 6,000 people here today who have gone away, so that was a good advert for the third division. That was a great advert for football, and uh, you know, in difficult conditions when you know there's a local derby, the heat is on, and, and the players are up for it. Um, we knew it was going to go end to end stuff, uh, but it was, it was good for, for the supporters, but disappointing for ourselves not to get the seat on. It was always going to be a difficult game for us after midweek, but the response was fantastic, and uh, we're having a good run. You know, in the league, we've done really well i mean as i've said for, for some time now chesterfield and brighton have beaten us and we maybe could have got something out of each of those games this is a, a scalp for us because our teams above us we've not really beaten one yet maybe it's cardiff but the teams above us have just shaded us in, in the game so today was was important for us to do well to give us the belief that um you know the top seven might be a possibility for us and if